Hi, I'm Dr. Skander Samud, Department of Neuroradiology, National Institute of Neurology, Tunis, Tunisia. I will be presenting a case of a 59-year-old man who attended our emergency department reporting a sudden onset of severe headache and photophobia. He had no medical history. On examination, he had high blood pressure, neck stiffness, Koenig's and Brzezinski signs, with no altered consciousness or neurological deficit. A non-contrast head CT showed diffuse subarachnoid hemorrhage predominantly in the basal cisterns. Subsequent CT angiography displayed a left posterior inferior cerebellar artery aneurysm. The patient was transferred to the neuroradiology department for embolization. Initial percutaneous left vertebral artery angiography confirmed an irregular saccular aneurysm along the proximal aspect of the left pica. Unfortunately, and during 3D rotational angiography, we noticed a massive contrast agent exacerbation after bolus injection originating from an aneurysmal lamp indicative of aneurysm rupture. We urgently proceeded to measurements, microcatheter placement, and endovascular coiling. The final angiography showed near complete obliteration of the aneurysm with a small neck eminent. A control CT scan showed contrast exacerbation in the basal cisterns, but no compressive hematoma or hydrocephalus. After the procedure, the patient was extubated in the upper reading room and later admitted to the neurovascular intensive care unit for observation. His post-operative course was excellent, and he was allowed home 10 days later. Follow-up was planned for six months after the intervention when the aneurysm was to be assessed by repeating an angiogram. Rebleeding is a dreadful complication of cerebral aneurysms, leading to severe brain damage or death. Thus, patients with subarachnoid hemorrhage should be carried out as soon as possible after the presentation. Thank you.